You ever wonder how different your electric guitars really do sound? Only one way to find out. So that was fun. Here are a couple thoughts on this little experiment. First of all, I should note that with each instrument, I tried to create a similar sound. For every guitar, I used the neck pickup when available and made sure that the volume and tones were all the way up. And every guitar went straight into this little Rev D20 here. No effects and the late processing that I did after the fact was the same for every instrument. The idea being to eliminate as many variables as possible so that we're hearing the tonal qualities of the guitar, not the sounds of different settings. The results were more or less what I expected. It was pretty easy to hear the difference between the pickup types. A humbucker sounds different than a P90, which sounds different than a single coil. However, within those categories, the sound becomes much harder to differentiate at least in this setting. If I was doing a blind listening experiment where I listened to the Reverse Flying V and my Ibanez Les Paul copy, I doubt I'd be able to tell you which one was which. Of course, there is much more to a guitar than simply the sound of the clean neck pickup, so this experiment does have its limitations. You gotta take into account the feel, the features, the look, the mojo, all these things are important factors. But I am curious, within the framework of this experiment, if any of them stood out to you, for better or for worse, you can let me know in the comment section. 
I know that I have my personal favorite, which will always and forever be my 52 Tele, but I am curious as to what you guys think. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the different tones of 24 different electric guitars. This video and very much everything I do on my channel is made possible with the help of the people who support me over on Patreon. The nature of doing YouTube as a full-time job is that things fluctuate seemingly randomly. So while sometimes things go great, other times YouTube just doesn't give you a ton of love. Going forward, I really see myself leaning on Patreon more and more so that I can keep bringing you these kind of videos regularly. And if you aren't familiar with Patreon, it's basically like an online tip jar. I've recently relaunched my page, simplifying things down, offering some new rewards, and finding ways to get more interactive with that community. Things like early access to videos, tabs for the music I make, like the song that I played today, backing tracks, as well as a bunch of other Patreon exclusives are all available over www.patreon.com slash samurai guitarist. Patreon makes it so that I can keep doing what I love to do, bringing you guys this kind of content regardless of how many people are watching. So if you're already involved over there, the biggest of thank yous to you. And if you think that you might like to check that out more, I'll put up links in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you wanna check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.